Hi everybody, this is Jim Aiken. In this video, I'm going to uh, show you how to do a sound save in Reason with uh, a synthesizer and a couple of effects that are living in the mix channel. And I'm recording this on a windy day, so if you happen to hear any moaning or thumping noises during the video, I want to reassure you that's not the creatures in the basement. There, there are no creatures in the basement, okay? I do not know how those rumors got started. Pay no attention. So, here we have a nice sound with Subtractor, which of course is a 1.0 reason synth and has no built-in effects of its own. But I've added a chorus and an echo, and it sounds like this. So let's suppose we think that's pretty and we want to save it. Don't even think about clicking the Save Patch button down here because that won't work. That will just save what's in the subtractor. It will not save the effects. So we want to save the combined sound. The first thing you might think of doing would be to click on that to select it and then shift click on these two devices to select them. And we want to put it in a combinator because that will enable us to save the combi, right? So we right click and the combine uh, command here is grayed out. We can't combine them because they're not in the right place. So the next thing you might want to try, you say, well, I can fix that. I'll just drag the effects out of the mix channel, park them down here. You know what? Let's do this a different way. I'm going to undo what I just did, and I'm going to duplicate this device. Right-click and select Duplicate Devices and Tracks. And now we have a new one down here. And so we can mess around with this one and show what's wrong, and then go back to the first one, and I'll show you what to do. What happens is we drag this out. Oops, everything is selected. Come on, unselect, thank you. We drag this out of the mix channel, down there. We drag this out of the mix channel. Oh, it turned the knob, you know, whatever. Drag it down here. Now we select that. We shift click to select that and that. Right click. And now we can combine the two. And this is our combi. And you might at this point think that you can click and save the combi up here. That won't work. If you do it, you won't be able to reload the combi properly. Why not? Let's take a look. I hit the tab key. As you can see, the subtractor is still going clear up to the mix channel, and these devices are patched the way they were before when they were in the mix channel. So the combi is defective. It has external patching, and Reason doesn't know what to do with that. So to do it correctly, what we need to do is reorganize this. So we'll, we'll disconnect the subtractor from that. We will disconnect the effects from the two devices and from devices patching. And now we had an input coming from here. Let's get rid of this stuff. Now we will take the subtractor main output, put it into the delay. The delay's output is already going to the uh, sweeper input. So now we connect those two from devices. We scroll up and we take the combi output into the mix channel. Sounds just like it did before. We're good. Now when we save it, Let's call it sub with FX. Okay, I've saved that. Now, if I wanted to, I could go over here, right click utility, create a new, ah, come on, create a new combinator. And if I scroll down here to, I've got a lot of combis, as you, as you can see, I save a lot of stuff and then I never use it again. Uh, doo -dee -dee -dee, sub with effects. Here we go. And there it is. And it works properly. 
That's the key. Repatching the back. Let's look at the back again so that everything is patched internally within the combinator and the final output of the signal chain goes to from devices and then the combi output goes up into the mix channel which has no other patching in it. So there you go. Yeah,